Hello friends, welcome to CSOP space. Today in this video session, we will discuss how to show data using jQuery Ajax call in ASP.NET MVC. So let's start. We open our Visual Studio and uh, create here new ASP.NET MVC empty project. So we click on a project and uh, here we choose a sp.net mbc for web application and then rename it it's a show data ajax oh. then click to ok now here we select a empty template and a view engine as a razor then click to ok now it's a creating my project so ajax call now my project is created so we go to our solution ex uh, server explorer and uh, here we select our database that i previously created and uh, here we choose a tbl registration table it contains serial numbers email passwords name address and city so first of all we connect this database with our projects we find their connection strings and then we go to web.config and here we write a connection strings for this connection strings add its a name is equal to con and then it's a connection string and then and uh, right here provider name it's a uh, provider name is equal to system dot data data dot sql client now this database is connected with our projects so now we create a class for access set data from the database in this example i have used uh, edu.net for all the database operations you can use any other technologies like uh, links entry frameworks so i here create a new folder for database operations let's add and a new folder and rename it database access layer and then here we create a new class for this so class db.cs and here we adding some more namespaces using system dot data using system dot data dot spill client and using system dot configuration And then we need to call this connection SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection. It's a configuration manager dot connection string. And then right here a connection object dot connection strings and save it now here we create a functions for display the records is a public data set it's a show data show data and then create a skill command is equal to new skill command and here we write a skill query select a straw from tbl
TVL registration and then here we pass the connection object then we create SQL data adapter D is equal to new SQL data adapter and it's a com SQL command object then we create a data set D is equal to new data set then we fill this data adapter with this data set and then we return this data set object it's a ds now we create a class for this table it's a tbl registration table so go to solution explorer and uh, add a new class for this it's a registration dot cs registration dot yes so i already write the properties for this table so we go to the this file and copy their properties this all the properties for this table now we go to our controller we here add a new controller it's a home and we add a view for this index action result method then click to add button Now we go to our controller file and here we adding one more name species using system dot data and we write function public as a JSON result and it's write a name it's a get get data then it's a data set ds equal to here we call the database access layer database access layer dot db it's a db layer equal to new and here we call this function db layer dot show data and then we give call one more name species for accessing their model so ajax call dot model and then we take a list for this list it's a register station it's a list the res is equal to new and then list reg dot add it's a new registration then we write all the properties like a serial number is equal to dr serial number it's a integer type so we convert it uh, at a integer is a convert convert dot to in 32 and then it's a email and uh, right here the respected column name it's uh, email dot two strings sorry for that we need to firstly create a for each loop for this is uh, for each it's a uh, for each and then here we take a data row 
and then we copy this into inside this for each loop then here write uh, their property it's a serial number dr and convert it into integer convert dot Two in thirty two, and then write the email email dot to two string. It's a password. Dear password dot to string and it's a name dot to string and it's a address. address dot to string and it's a city dear city dot to, to string now we return this list return Return JSON. It's a list reg, and it's a JSON result behavior dot allow get. Go to our index page, and here we created designs for this. I so I already created designs for this. We copy this style into the head tag and uh, table data it's a table structure for this now i drag and drop we copy the jquery's libraries so i go to this and here we copy jquery library and then paste it on our project and then link our jquery file with index page now here we create a script script dollar function and here we write the functions dollar dot get and here we write our method name our method name is get data and then here the options for passing the parameters here we not passing any parameters so leave it blank and then it's a function 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 and here here we pass uh, parameters as a data and we provide the id for this insert email we write uh, id tbl data in here we take uh, variable 
now we take a for each loop for that each and here we take a function it's a dot and it's for function and here we take the two parameters this for looping numbers and this for object that we fetch so row is equal to equal to str set table row and then we write a td it's a e1 dot serial number and then we copy paste this this for email this for password this for name this is address and this for city now we append this row into the table dollar dot tbl it's a tbl data dot append and row now we view in browser Now it's showing all the record from database and display in a tabular form. This for extra columns, we remove it. Now we again refresh this. Now it's showing all the records from database. That is all for display the records using jQuery rejects call. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please write in the comment box. I will reply you soon. And for watching and for get latest updates, please subscribe my channel. Thanks. Thanks for watching. We will meet in next video session.